the 1888 history book of Livingston County has biographies for 116 men who lived in the Fairbury area. Also included are illustrations of the farms in the area. Some of the 116 men in Fairbury, their farms are illustrated in this book as well. And there are many other farm illustrations of other areas of Livingston County. They are pretty uh, neat pictures to look at or illustrations to look at. Here's a typical one here of uh, John O'Dell, who lived in Section 7 of Indian Grove Township. Here's another farm illustration for Mr. Potter. He lived on Section 14 in Indian Grove Township. Here's another farm illustration. Not sure how you pronounce this. I'm going to say Mr. Conine of Section 31, Indian Grove Township. Note the horses and the carriages shown in the illustration. Here's another illustration of the farm of Frank Eads in Section 26, Indian Grove Township. Here's a map showing all of the one-room schoolhouses in the Fairbury area. The top of the map, map is north and uh, there was a schoolhouse every two miles. So I'll just quickly read through uh, starting at the top, the north end, uh, down through the middle of Fairbury, and then down to the south end. Lodemia, Avoca, Pearson at the top, then Baker, Bright's Corner, and Fugit, then Brownville, Fairbury Great School, and the Beehive. Uh, south Fairbury was the Frog Pond, Temple, and Potter, then Oakdale, Excelsior, and Fry, and at the very south, Howitz, Phelps, and Nowa. These schools ended uh, roughly in the late 1940s. There was really not enough students to justify having them anymore. With mechanizing of out agriculture, you didn't need large families anymore uh, to farm the land. And you can see the declining enrollment in 1897. There were over 6,000 rural students in Livingston County. And by 1947, it was down to only about 1,500.